in this video i'll show you how you can create an auto focus input field or you can say auto changes input field and i will use here custom javascript so here is the preview of that so this type of form would create when we create an otp generation form otp generate form so here is the preview and if i type any uh, one value so here you can see after typing one value it's focusing on the um, the second input field and here if i type then you can see it's focusing on another input field so let's see how you can do it so for that first of all i will go to the my visual studio code editor this is the code editor of visual studio code editor and here i have already opened a html file and the custom.js file so i will write the js code in custom.js file so i have added this custom.js link here and this is the jquery link but this link uh, bit but jquery is not necessary here because here i will write uh, on javascript base code so jquery is not necessary and here i have taken a row and in in, in this row i have divided into six column and the both column i have taken a input field text so first of all in this input field i will take an id so, so id is always the unique so first input field i will write the id name text to one you can write any name of this id but remember it's always unique you can't use this id another way inside this page and i will write a max length max length one so that means i can type only one value inside this input field so if i go to the browser and refresh this page so you can see i can type only one value only one value but here i can type more than one value because i have said inside this input field max length one so maximum length one i can type maximum length is one but hey but another input field i can type anything more than one value so in the similar way I will copy this and I will paste here so max length 1 but ID is always unique so the second input field I will write the ID name is text 2 and the similar way I will paste here and the ID ID is text 3 and here also id text 4 id text 5 and id text 6 and now here i will write a function so function is on key up equals to function name so double inverted comma and the function name is move so you can write any name of this function and parenthesis so i have written here on key of function because when i will type here any key that means when i will press any key and i will leave the key then the cursor will focus on another input field so that means key up because when i will up the key from keyboard then the cursor will be focused on another input field. so this is the key up function and the cursor will be focused from this input field to the second input field second input field's unique id is text 2 that means the cursor will focus from this to text to input field so in the similar way i will copy the function and just here i will paste so the so from here the cursor will focus from this input field to inside this input field that means text 3 so text 3 the similar way i will paste here so these two text 4 and this two 
text 5 and here this input field to text 6 so here I'll change the ID name is text 6 and now I will declare this function so I will copy this function name and I will go to the custom.js file and here I will paste the function and parenthesis and inside this function you can see I have passed the parameter and this the I have used this keyword as a parameter text 2 text 3 text 4 this are unique ID so for to similar that I have to pass here parameter also so here I will write the parameter is form text comma to text so the parameter similar that so you can write here any name of this parameter but form text is similar to this and to text is similar to both the id text 2 text 3 the both id is, is similar to to text and you can write here this type of function here you can write function and in this way you can write a function but here i will write a arrow function both are same but arrow function is the new features of javascript 6 or you can say it ECMAScript 6 so the syntax of arrow function equals to and also here equals to an arrow so this is called arrow function both the same but this is the ECMAScript new syntax and now here first of all I will write a variable so var lin equals to form text dot length that means form text means I have said here form text means similar to this keyword so that means it will be written the the both input fields length and I will write another variable so var max length equals to from text dot get attribute and the attribute is so that means inside this max length variable I will assign the form text attribute attribute means max max length attribute I will assign here so max length and now I will write a condition so if this length variable double equals to this max length variable that means when the length of input field is equals to max length max length means one so when the value is similar to one 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 number so then document dot get element by id so get mean by id and the id is two text because I have said the two text parameter is similar to id text to text three the both id so when the length length means this input field's length is similar to max length man, that means one is similar to one and then it will focus on two text two text means from this text to input field to this input field so id two text dot 
focus focus is the javascript angle function and if i save and here also if i save and i will go to the browser and refresh it so if i type any number then you can see it's focusing on the another input field so this is the auto changes and this type of form we need at the time to otp generation form so hope guys this video is helpful for you and if you like and get this type of more videos then you can subscribe and press the notification bell icon also